Hello everyone, this is Nick with Nick Does DJI, and welcome to my channel. Today, we talk about how I was able to save over $50,000 in three years. We have to talk about the B word, budget. The first step is to create a budget. A budget is what will help you identify areas where you can save money. You can use apps like Mint, Personal Capital, or you need a budget to keep track of your progress. Identify and forecast your bi-weekly or monthly income coming in. Next, create budget categories such as housing, food, transportation, investing, and track your spending for a month or two. Then set uh, new goals for each category and then start implementing your new goals. Lastly, make adjustments as you go. Practice makes perfect, so it's okay to make mistakes in the beginning. The second thing I did was to save money was to start making coffee at home. I made a in-depth video on this recently, which I'll link in the on the screen, but I save about $4 per cup of coffee by making it at home. I already broke even on the cost of the coffee machine. And you can still use premium coffee beans like Stumptown, Blue Bottle, and, and yet, and yet um, still save um, some money compared to stopping by the local Starbucks or the local coffee shop and not and you don't have to sacrifice on the quality of um, brewed coffee. The third thing I did to save money was to start cooking at home. Buying in bulk is your best friend. Buy staples such as rice, beans, potatoes, pasta, and you know whatever else in bulk. Have frozen also have frozen meals ready to go. Um, it's my experience that you're more likely to eat out when you come home tired from a long day at work, but you also don't have any food readily available. And after getting your groceries, try meal prepping once or twice a week for enough meals for to last you for three to four days. This is to prevent the temptation to eat out when you don't feel like cooking. Another tip is to cut out buying bottled water and beverages. It's expensive and not good for the environment. Invest in a home water filtration system, or at least use a portable Brita filter. The fourth thing I did to save money was to cut out unnecessary subscriptions. Sorry, but the first thing I did was cancel my Netflix and Hulu subscription. Then I looked for ways to cut down on my gym membership. I used to pay $55 a month for a powerlifting gym, but I decided to go corporate and join a local corporate gym for only $15 a month. But in light of the pandemic, my gym suspended my monthly payments entirely, and I haven't paid a gym membership in over nine months. So since the pandemic has started, I actually have opted for body weight exercises, going outside for a walk, a run, a hike, or even a bike ride, and just do a lot of um, other things that don't necessarily cost a lot of money. The fifth thing I did to save money was to shop plans and compare prices, whether it's cell phone bills, health insurance, auto insurance, or even renter's insurance. I recently switched uh, my auto insurance to Geico, and I really did save 15% for about five minutes of work. And when I lived in a previous apartment, I was able to get the cheapest renter's insurance from Lemonade. It pays to shop around when it comes time to renew your policies or plans. And rather than just reducing insurance or subscription plans, I started new ones at Costco and Disney+. Plus. I decided to spend the extra money to start a Costco membership to make sure I get the best prices for bulk groceries and um, just other household items. Plus, you can't beat the $1.50 hot dogs. And as a result of losing my Netflix and Hulu subscription, I signed on to Disney+. Plus. I am a huge Disney fan. and at the time of the Disney Plus uh, launch, they were doing a a, um, a deal where you can buy a three-year membership for the price of two, and I couldn't resist. So when you average it out, my, co my average monthly cost only came out to about $2.80 for um, a platform with hundreds of hours of content and the biggest theatrical releases. And lastly, the last thing I did to save $50,000 in three years was to make my money grow for me. 
So what I did was using all the money that I saved from the previously mentioned uh, ways, I put that in the market. At the time I used Robinhood and over 80% of the money saved money went to solid blue chip dividend growth stocks, many of which I hold again today in my M1 finance portfolio, referral link in the description below. Um, and the S&P historically returned on average 10% annually. And my personal opinion is that if you intend to hold money for whether it's, it's to save up for a down payment on a house, a car, and if your time horizon is at least three to five years, you are better off investing it in the market, but your risk tolerance may vary. And the remaining 20% of the saved money went into high yielding savings account. At the time, uh, Marcus by Gold Goldman Sachs and Ally Bank were all offering interest rates above 2%. Unfortunately, nowadays, however, a quote-unquote high-yield savings account only yields about 0.5%. Now, what did I do with the money that I saved over, for over three years? Well, I put it into real estate. This is not the actual picture, but I did purchase... Um, just earlier this year, a townhouse for my wife and I um, to use for our uh, starter home. And um, the money that I saved over the years went towards the down payment and closing costs. And um, now that we have closed this year, that's why I did um, create a new M1 finance portfolio, which I intend to hold forever. And um, yeah, so thank you again for watching this video. For the YouTube algorithm, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video with everyone. Also, click the bell notification to receive an alert when the next video drops. The more engagement I get, the more likely my videos will show up on the YouTube algorithm. Bye.